Toy the soy sauce assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing the what is this? This is artisanal, artisanal del tobacco El Popo. Uh made by AJ Fernandez, really, but just another brand. So there we go. As you can see, El Popo is octopus. And the saying was that they tried to make a cigar that fits different shape, different shape, different shape into the rocks and high and all that stuff. And just like it's got to fit different kind of people. So, uh, it is Synergist Cigar, Synergist Wrapper, Box Pressed. Um, yeah, I can see a lot of shiny spots. So I think there's, there's a lot of blue on here. Ugh. Oh. Well, Take a close look. El Popo by Artesanal Del Tobacco. Actually made in a AJ Fernandez facility. And it is 6x56 Toro Grande. Wrapper is Mexican St. Andres. Binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. MSRP is $16, a box of 10. The total of $160 per box. And this particular one, as you can see, I point out, it's quite a bit of glue all over the place. You know, come on, AJ. Your, your factory shouldn't be like that. You know, just load on the glue and this thing, uh, I imagine it's going to have a little problem. It is a box price cigar, so we'll see. Okay, as you can see, there is some flaw, but, you know, cigar, cigar, I got to smoke them. So let's let's get started. Ooh. All right. All right. This might be a good cigar. Why? Because this thing smells like somebody's foot right after they went to a baseball game, take their foot out of the socks and sneaker and just go. <sighs> this is, <laughs> this stinks. Oh yeah, it stinks. Yeah, well, I don't know why I'm keep smelling it. It's, it stinks. Ooh. It smells like a stinky feet, for sure. Definitely Mexican San Andreas, fermented, for sure. All right, let's get going. Ooh. Hmm. The cap is hard. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's like wet and hard. That sounds horrible. Wet and hard. Wet and hard. Um. Okay. Musty, chocolate, damp. A little bit of dankiness. A little bit of mushroom. Might be a good cigar. Who knows? Oh, running out of fuel. Didn't I say that last time too? I'm going to refill this. I wanted to use it all before I refill it. That's the thing. Toast, toast, toast. The smell is very like mocha. Like when I light this up. Like mocha coffee, you know? Yeah. All right. Definitely pepper. Definitely a little bit of earthiness. A little bit of coffee, chocolatey-ness. Mm. 
woodsiness. There is a little bit of mineral of some sort. This just it's just a little bit better. And some spice, some mixture of spice, not just pepper itself. All right, so this is going to be a long cigar. You know, it is a Toro Grande, and we will smoke through one third at a time. Be right back. All right, so we're at one third. It kind of doesn't look like it, but it is. Um, there were some draw issues, but I don't really want to pull out that stem, so I don't know. Uh, internal flavor is a very dark earthy coffee note you can tell i have a little bit problem with the draw and it has from time to time a specific type of powdery sugarness to it, 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 it it's not bad but it's at the same time very aj like and when i say aj like if you don't understand what aj like it's like go smoke a few aj's it has that reminiscent, like just, oh, it's an AJ. If you take that, the band and smoke, it's like, oh, that smoke like an AJ. And, and, and not very particular. You lack the characteristic. And maybe that's what they mean that will fit different people because you lack a specific characteristic other than AJ. So I wouldn't say that was bad. But I think for a San Andreas Nicaraguan combo, is it's leaning too much towards one flavor and not enough for the rest of them. That is the characteristic of. Okay, so for now it's only one third, not a big deal. Get into second third, maybe I'll pull out that one stem right here, see if that improves, and we'll see where it goes. Be right back. Okay, we are at second third. Um, I only pulled out the small one um i didn't have to do a lot and it kind of improved the still kind of like i don't know spongy but it's not it's not very wet i don't know why san andreas band that's the first band that they have get the point across so you know it's san andreas i don't know if that's something that you have to make a big deal about now are they most of maduro's are san andreas uh or broadleaf Second third, it's like a sweet coffee. And once in a while, if you retrohale enough, <clears throat> you might get a little bit of weird, as weird as that sound in that make. And that's pretty much it. A little bit creamy, a little bit um, lingering, not clay enough. But yeah, it will go away too. So it's like, you puff, there's a lot of flavor. You get coffee, you get sweetness, you get uh, maybe a little burn, just a little bit, tiny bit. And then you get smell of nutmeg in there. Um, there is still some earthiness, not a lot. It's not very complex. It's very one-dimensional cigar. It's not a bad cigar because it doesn't taste bad. Right? It doesn't taste bad. It's just not a lot going on for what they're charging um, for this particular cigar. I don't know. I and I know what they're trying. I, I think I know what they're trying to do. You know, not make it overly complex, just good flavor. One or two of them is fine. Suits multiple people. But at the same time, that kind of defeats the point of calling it like, you know, an octopus that can form shape of different people because it's just one dimensional. Yeah, if you get a one dimensional for the people, it's got to fit most people. But at the same time, it doesn't, it's not unique. You can find plenty of San Andreas that tastes like that. You don't have to pay the price, what, what, like $15, $16 for this thing. You don't have to, right? You can pay $8 cigar, $9 cigar, $10 cigar for that flavor even sound more complex than this. So although it's good tasting, I haven't seen the complexity or 
flexibility that will fit multiple different kind of smoker. I mean, if you're a beginner, you might think that that's a lot of flavor. That's a that's a medium to medium plus body. But again, for me, that was one dimensional. Okay, last uh, let's finish it up. Be right back. Okay, we're done finally. Get the band. I like the band. The band looks pretty cool. It's very like you know you can identify it right away. Our purple. Uh, I just think that their company name should have been easier identified, but it was on the other band, I think. Yeah, it's on the other band. Very bottom, so little. You know, shouldn't you have your brand out there? But yeah, that's what we got. So guys, about medium, medium plus. Uh, Luster, again, very concentrated coffee and earthiness. And at times sweet, at times not. But mostly leaning towards the sweeter side. So the cigar is not bad. Like I say, it's more characteristic of AJ cigar than any other unified or universal cigar. But AJ does make quite a bit of cigar that's geared towards everybody. But the way this is, it's just slow creeping strength, coffee, earthiness. It's not a lot of thing going on that make the San Andreas tobacco shine, you know. San Andreas is very versatile. It gets a lot of different nice, sweet flavor. Uh, but it's not showing on this one. In terms of gear towards everybody, I guess you can say that. Because I, I don't think anybody will hate the flavor. I don't think anybody will be impressed about how complex it is. How different it is. How amazing it is. It's like I say, it's everyone's cigar. And because it's everyone's cigar, you got to get the consistency. Now, the good part is the last third still tastes pretty good. Still the same, right? It's just that it, it, as you, the more you smoke, the more you lose that, uh, that intricacy, that difference, that transition or whatever you want to call it. After the first third, there was none. So it wasn't... So if you, I guess if you're having a coffee and then you just smoke this, you'll enjoy it. But if you're looking for something complex, something amazing, something different, something um, you are looking to be knocked off your socks, that kind of stuff is not the cigar. For what they're charging, they give you a little bit more tobacco. Obviously, it's Toro Grande. It's a little bit bigger, right? But it did not... It got bored after a certain time. Okay, it's, just, it's almost two hours ago, but it got bored as I smoke it. It wasn't light, so it wasn't relaxing. It's tense. With that being said, I would probably rate this cigar like ten to eleven dollar range. It's not a bad cigar. It's definitely boutiquey, but at the same time. I can probably find something to replace it somewhere in the eight dollar range, nine dollar range, All right? So it's just a little bit better than that. Okay, so that will be pretty much about the cigar. I know a lot of people are telling me just smoke the cigar, try it, and then ask me uh, ask me how I think about this cigar. But you know, it, it's one of those. If you are smoking for like first two or three years, it might be something like, oh my god, there's a lot of coffee flavor. It's great. But if you're looking for something intricate, something different, something heavily thought out for $16, $15, $13, you are looking for something that transitions and changes the taste and go over. But this just consistency. Not saying consistency was bad. Consistency is good. But... Not in the way that they are charging. Okay. Still a cigar that I think people would enjoy and recommend it and, and, and smoke it. But I am not seeing this cigar being overly excited for. Okay. So that would be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our podcast. Check out Swag. Check out membership. And I will see you guys in the next one.
Bye, guys. <laughs>